got here? I'm Kev's. When I was little, we were going to have a Halloween party. Tig, we are going to have a Halloween party. What's a Halloween party? What's a Halloween party, Mummy? I said. Scary. <laughs> no, fun. Halloween is a party people have been having for hundreds of years and everyone gets to dress up in funny clothes. A Halloween party is where everyone dresses up in funny clothes, fun. said Mummy. Right, pumpkin time. The first thing that we did for the Halloween party was make pumpkin lanterns. We took the middle out of the pumpkin and Daddy made pumpkin pie. We made a face in the pumpkin. Nose, eyes, mouth. Ooh, no, funny face. Silly daddy. Tig, what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? What do you want to dress up as? said Mummy. You can be anything you like. A spaceman, a fairy. A bobble bug monster. A bobble bug monster, I said. What's a bobble bug monster? A monster with lots of bobbles. Mummy helped me make the Bobble Bug Monster. When Angel came to play, she helped me make my Bobble Bug Monster too. What are you dressing up as for Halloween, Angel? said Mummy. So what are you going to wear for Halloween, Angel? I don't know. Mm, a surprise. That's a I'm surprise. not sure yet, said Angel. Yeah. We were having the Halloween party in a bag Big room. We are going to have to make this place all scary. Scary and fun. We're mm. going to make the room into Halloween. At one end of the room, Daddy made a castle. The castle was very old. Angel came along to help too. We put the pumpkins all around the room. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? said Daddy. Angel, what are you going to get dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's brilliant. Surprise, surprise. On the day of Halloween, I dressed up as my bobble bug monster. Wow, I don't think there are going to be many bobble bug monsters. Daddy had made some little wings for Willy so he could dress up too. Don't forget, Willy has to dress up too. Right, off we go. Come on, Tig. At the Halloween party, everyone came dressed up. It was fun. There were lots of monsters, fairies, ghosts, witches, pirates. Daddy didn't really have a costume. Daddy was just sort of ordinary. Mummy was a sparkly witch. I didn't see Angel. Gather round. Gather round, because... Daddy told us a scary story. A scary, scary story. A fairy <laughs> cried. Right, no more scary. But Halloween is scary. You're OK. No more scary, said <gasps> Mummy. No more scary, Daddy. No more scary, said the bobble bug monster. Then Mummy said, look who's arrived. I thought it was Angel. But it wasn't. Mr. Jack O' Lantern! Woo! It was Mr. Jack O' Lantern, the trick or treat man! Oh. Witches and monsters, hello! We all had to hello. do a trick for Mr. Jack O' Lantern. Oh. Oh. Keep going, keep doing it. And then he gave us a treat. There you go. Oh. I was so excited. Oh! I'd practice my very own bubble bug monster stomp. My turn came, but then I saw another bubble bug monster. It was Angel. I sat under a table. How dare Angel copy me? I'm the bubble bug monster. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when you think you're the only bubble bug monster and then you see another one. It's not nice when people copy you. When people copy you, it can feel like someone has taken something from you. 
But then when people copy you, you can feel pleased too. When people copy you, it shows you how much they like the things you do. Angel just loved your bubble bug monster. Angel loved your bubble bug monster so much. She wanted to be a bubble bug monster too. You can feel pleased Angel copied you. You can feel pleased you helped Angel choose her dressing up. And hey, two monster bubble bugs are better than one. So go for it, Tig. Don't be grumpy. Go and have fun with your bubble bug chum. Yes, I thought. I'm pleased that Angel liked my bubble bug monster. Monster stomp. Angel and me did a bubble bug monster stomp together for Mr. Jack o' Lantern. We got his treats. After that, Mr. Jack o' Lantern did lots of party games. Sweet those marshmallows. Eating the marshmallow. Oh. Knocking off the witch's hat. Oh. Oh. It's time to wrap up the mummy. Oh, or should I say, a daddy? No. <laughs> Wrapping up the mummy. We wrap daddy up in old wrapping paper. <laughs> Pinning the boat high on the skeleton. And then we did the scary monster stomp. Halloween was so much fun. At the end of the party, all the monsters and witches and fairies went home. We went home too. Bubble bug monster bedtime. Are you tired, bubble bug monster? No. I said, I didn't want Halloween to end. I still wanted to be a monster. Okay, take pajamas on. I didn't want to go to bed. Run! Hey, Tig, we've had so much Halloween fun. We don't want to spoil it. Maybe it's time to stop the rules. I but I like being a monster. I like being a monster too. But even monsters have to go to bed. Wee! I like a lot of monsters, oh yes I do. Spotty ones and hairy ones, one eye or two. They squelch around in wellies, they make me laugh. And some are rather smelly, they need a bath. They wobble, roar and squabble, and they bump their tums. But I really, really like my monster chums. But monsters are for daytime fun and not when bedtime comes. So when I sleep my happy night, so do my monster chums. Night, night, monsters, not one roar. Snuggle down comfy and please don't snore. Night, night, monsters, not one peep. Snuggle down comfy and go to sleep. Yes, I thought. I've had the best Halloween, but now is bedtime. I close my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, I was no longer a monster. I was in my pyjamas. Not a bed for the bubble monster. Not a bubble monster, just me. <gasps> it's only a toy spider, a <gasps> silly dragon. Oh, come on then. I like Halloween and I love Wooly. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Wooly came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think you got the wrong time. We'll come back later, let's go and have a wee play, come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big tall tower. 
Up there is the castle tower. Your soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come into the castle? Oh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then, thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty, just walls. It smelt funny. And this is, I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I like the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms, and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. And so me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Willy, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Willy. Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Body monsters, hairy monsters, blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love 
monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willy my monsters. I didn't think Willy liked my monsters. No, Tig. I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. Here they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I love my toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Wooly didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that looks lovely, Tig. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? Let's see what your new lamp is. Daddy okay. plugged the light in. Your bed. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. Mummy, can I make something with the box? the box? I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I could make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. I think they're friends. No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep.
Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig. Things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops! Big hairy monsters! Round and round they go, just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the roof. I like my new light. I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willie.